to Rugby Union this week. This is a show where we round up the biggest news stories from the world of rugby over the past seven days or so. Of course, we had the Six Nations over the weekend, but we're not going to focus on that because everybody knows about that. But we're going to talk about some of the other interesting stories that have happened from the past seven days. So if you're new here, subscribe, leave a like and get your thoughts in the comments down below. We're starting first in Wales with Liam Williams, who's rejoined the Scarlets for the remainder of this season of the 2019-20 season. He's due to join the Scarlets for the for the season of 2020-21 after the Saracens of course had their troubles with the salary cap breaches but he is joining them now it is happening now he doesn't have to wait to the end of the season he's joining the Scarlets now he's currently away with Wales on international duty but hasn't played since last World Cup since Wales of course played in that third place playoff against New Zealand this has been some big news breaking just today. So this is the place for breaking news here on BIS Rugby. He will rejoin the Scarlets. It's not known whether he'll be released back to the Scarlets for next weekend with their trip against Munster. It's not been known quite yet, but we will wait and see. But Liam Williams is a Scarlets player right now. Sticking with the Pro 14, Ospreys and Ulster's trips to Italy have both been postponed due to concerns on the coronavirus that has broken out in Italy. There's been over 160 cases of the virus in Italy. So Ospreys were due to play Zebra and Ulster were due to play Benetton. There's been no news about when these will be rescheduled in. Obviously, health and safety is prime and there's some more important things in life than rugby only just but there definitely is so Ospreys and Ulster's trips to Italy have both been postponed for now of course last weekend Italy against Scotland uh, in the women's game was postponed as well um, so we wait to see when that one will be played again but it is a concern and we will have to wait to see when that game will be played. Heading back over to Wales now, Rhys Webb has joined Bath for the rest of the season. Of course, he was at Toulon and had agreed a deal to join Ospreys at the end of the season for the 2020-21 season. The way he went around it wasn't uh, to the liking of the Toulon president and he said that he would never play for Toulon again. But he has decided to join Bath for the rest of the season. Now, he's currently in the Wales camp and he was given special treatment, really, to be allowed to rejoin the team after showing his intentions to wanting to play in Wales again. But it'd just be good to get him to be playing regular rugby before next season. Of course, if he hasn't played for six months and he's only had one game in the past few months, now it's for Wales against Italy, then going into the Ospreys, he's not going to be fit. He's not going to have game time. He's not going to be match fit. But if he can have some game time at Bath and one of the Bath scrub halves has had a serious injury, therefore he could be guaranteed game time down at the wreck. So hopefully he'll come back firing for the Ospreys next season and because the Ospreys definitely need it. Though we got the win against Ulster, we definitely need it. Ben Franks, the New Zealand legend, is retiring at the end of the season. The 35-year-old has won 47 caps for the All Blacks and won two Rugby World Cup. He currently plays for Northampton Saints and has played for London Irish here in the UK as well. But had a really successful time at Crusaders in Super Rugby, winning two titles there. He has decided to hang up his boots at the end of the season. What a legend and what a servant he has been to this great game of rugby. Let's look at some contracts then. Glasgow Warriors have had a few players sign new deals. All of them have signed new two-year deals. So Grant Stewart, the hooker, has signed a new two-year deal, along with Ryan Wilson, who is the third most, um, most appearances for Glasgow in their records. Nick Gregg as well, the centre, and Peter Horn as well has signed a new two-year deal. So lots of players showing their commitment to the region and to the side, and uh, they have committed themselves there for the next two years at least. Talking about Scotland, Sam Hidalgo Klein. Remember him, the scrum half who used to play for Scotland? Well, he used to play for Scarlet, went out, played for Racing, and then went to Leon. But he is coming back to the UK to join Exeter Chiefs next season. He signed a two year deal, and it sees that Nick White is heading back to Australia. The reason for this was that before last year's World Cup, Australia were like, we want to see your intention to play in Australia again. So he said, OK, I'll play for Australia in this Rugby World Cup and then I'll come back to Australia to play for a Super Rugby side. And that is what's happened to Nick White going to Australia and then Sam Hidalgo Klein coming back to the UK to replace him at Exeter Chiefs. Of course, he's the second Scotsman to be joining them after the Grey, Mr Grey, Johnny Grey, of course, went and joined them uh, at the end of the season from Glasgow Warriors. 
So there you go, that's Rugby Union for this week. Let me know your thoughts on everything, on uh, Liam Williams, on uh, Reese Webb, on the new deals for the Glasgow players, the uh, coronavirus, everything. Let me know your thoughts. Loads of things coming out on the channel, of course, and uh, we got a podcast coming out very soon as well with Star KR looking back at the weekend of the Six Nations. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon.